leadoff spot today for the first time since you did it once in 2019, and you delivered right off the bat to triple. Do you like that spot? Yeah, I was just trying to uh, create a spark uh, from the get-go. I was I was really looking forward to seeing my name up there today. I didn't expect that, but <laughs> uh, I, w I was happy, and I wanted to, to be a spark plug, try to uh, set it off early and, uh, you know, triple right out the gate. Um, you know, I was happy with it, just trying to provide energy, uh, spark any way possible, and um, felt good being back there. Hey, I wanted to ask you about that moment in the sixth when the A's did score, and you and Randy kind of were around the same spot in, you know, positioning-wise. I mean, was that just kind of a difficult moment in, in the moment, or how would you kind of describe what happened there? Yeah, um, thought long and, and hard about this, and, and I, uh, you know, got to tread lightly uh, with, with my wording on it, but I, I know what it looked like from, from everyone else's vantage or, uh, you know, viewpoint or vantage point, whatever we want to call it, but I'm, uh, I'm in a unique position with with what my defensive skill set is and, and I'll never shy away from that I, I believe I'm the best defensive outfielder in the game I'd put my talents up with with anyone um, and I, I'm very confident in saying that now with that being said on the play I always tell my outfielders especially when there's a sack fly situation I tell them hey if I can get to this area I'm throwing and I've uh you know, I play with some some guys who have really good arms uh, next to me, and I always have confidence in the guys next to me. There's no doubt about that what, whatsoever. And that play right there, um, Mitch Moreland had enough height on it where I knew right away I could get behind it and get a re or uh, you know work my momentum back towards the plate. And you know, from Randy's standpoint, it's not a it's a play you, you hardly ever see. I've done it before. Um, and it's worked in my favor back in the minor leagues, and I did it one time back in St. Louis with Corey Dickerson in there and left, and it was a very close play. But when it comes to that, um, I'm going to ramble here for a second, so you guys can just take whatever quote you want from this, but I'm gonna, I have to explain this because I'm going to be thinking about this the rest of the night. 1-1 one, one game, team hasn't been playing very good. I'm doing everything in my power to preserve that lead. Or, or the tie, I'm sorry, the tie. And I have one of the best arms in the big leagues and I've, I've had that since the day I've came here. And, one, you know, I got over there and I know I could have got behind it and I think, I, I know I surprised Randy. I know I surprised that he was camp. There's no doubt about that whatsoever. But in, in that moment, if, if we're up three to one, four to one, and if we're, you know, playing a little bit better as of late, I don't even think about it. But in that moment right there, you know, pre-pitch, I'm saying if I can get to any ball, I'm, I'm going and I'm going to try to make the play. And obviously, um, once again, I think I caught Randy off guard. He, uh, you know, kind of stood his ground and that, that hindered my uh, ability to get behind the ball a little bit more than, than what I wanted, rightfully so, by Randy. He did nothing wrong in that play whatsoever. Um, and I, I tried making a play out of it because I, I want to throw right there. I, I trust my arm and, and my ability to, to get the runner right there. And obviously it, it didn't work out for us. It probably, you know, looked a certain way from everyone's um, view. But at the same time, uh, once again, I, I'm a playmaker out there and I, I'm very confident in my abilities. I, I know I could have done it if, if circumstances were a little bit different. But once again, um, if anyone's at fault it, it's me for for doing that I, I trust randy in in his ability but in that moment right there uh i was trying to to get to a certain spot and and make a throw and it didn't work out and i'm, I'm upset over it with, with myself but at the same time you know i just listen to my instincts out there and, and i'm doing everything i can to try to win games at the end of the day that's all i want to do and um, I'll just leave it at that. TK, I appreciate your thoughtfulness on that and, and sharing that much. Is, is there something you would you think you'd go and talk to Randy and, and kind of 
do you feel any need to like clear the air with him or explain it to him? He didn't seem overly happy at the. At yeah, the but yeah, and uh, you know he doesn't he doesn't have to be happy with me, and I'm not. Um, I, I've told my teammates and you know for years now I, I'm not here. Uh, you know I'm here to make f friends with my brothers out there. I'm I'm uh, going to battle with any uh, each and every night, but. Uh, once again, if, if any other center fielders out there, um, you know, might not be the right play, but I know I'm, I'm very confident I could have made that play, and I'll, I'll have a convo with him, let the let the dust settle. I'm sure he's not too thrilled with me, and um, you know, it, it is what it is in that sense. I, I can't sit here and assume because I haven't I haven't talked to him, but uh, it, it's going to be a, a tough convo because I don't he might not see eye to eye about it forever and. I can plead my case, he can plead his. Um, my arm feels really good, feels really powerful. And once again, if uh, you know, balls hit in the air and I can get to it, I want to throw. And I think that gives our, our team the best chance of, of, uh, of winning. And I'll stand behind that any day of the week. We have time for one more question. Hey, just real fast. Obviously, you mentioned things hadn't been going really well. The Phillips homer and then Joey's hit with runners in scoring position. Just how much was a, was that a lift, kind of for the team, the way things have been going? It was huge. We're just trying to, you know, create momentum any way possible. And uh, you know, Philly, that was a that was a loud long homer. I got the best seat from the on deck circle right there, and he's got sneaky pop. He does. He can, you know, hit the ball a long way. When, when he hits it right and he hit it perfect right there, beautiful swing to left center. And, uh, you know, I knew right up from the bat, I knew that was gone and that was huge. And then Joey Wendell just being himself, clutch as ever. When you need him most, he comes through. Doesn't surprise me whatsoever. That's what he does day in, day out. And uh, anytime you get insurance runs after taking a lead the way we did with Phillips Homer, um, you know, it was huge. That was a great, great win for us against a really good team who's playing really well right now. And and uh, hopefully we can take that momentum going into tomorrow. You put quite the swing on that fastball over the plate for the home run to give your team the lead. Take me through delivering for your team in that moment. Yeah, you know, first of all, it's just a, a great baseball game all around. Uh, shout out to the fans who made it out tonight on weeknight and the fans back home watching. We appreciate you guys very much. As, as for the home run, you know, Matas was mixing it up very well the whole game. And luckily, I guess right there with two strikes, fastball, I think it was, uh, and uh, was able to do something cool every once in a while. So. Yeah, it feels good. This team has talked about the offensive slump they've been in recently. How nice was it to be able to deliver and get your team out of that slump? Yeah, you know, it always feels good to contribute to uh, a major league win. As for the, the slumping, that's going to come and go throughout the course of the season. It's uh, things like, you know, just grinding at bats, putting at bats together, getting guys on base, and then, you know, hitting home runs like that. So uh, I, I feel blessed. You know, it, it was a really cool moment, and, you know, it was a great team win overall. You mentioned the the hits and the runs will come and go, but as the cliche phrase in baseball goes, hitting is contagious. Can this give you guys a boost moving forward? Because after you hit that home <laughs> run, seem pretty contagious it, it, to me. It is. <laughs> hitting is contagious. You know, all we can hope for is to continue to keep the train moving, you know, allowing the next guy to be the hero, putting together good at-bats, and uh, good things happen. So that's, uh, that's what we're trying to do. Obviously, like I said, slumps, they come and go throughout the course of a season. It's just a matter of grinding through those moments. And uh, pit, shout out to the pitching staff doing a great job picking us up. Fred, did you know how far that home run went? I do not. 417 feet. Wow, that's uh, <laughs> that's really cool. I sometimes do cool things like that I, that come out of nowhere. So, cool. We love it. Congratulations, <laughs> Brett. Thanks so you. much. Thank Guys, you. back to you. We'll start with the offense coming to life. How welcome of a sight was that starting in the first inning, then Brett Phillips home run and Joey Wendell tacking on there at the end. Yeah, it was big. We needed to get something going, and we got it going early on. KK started us with a first pitch leadoff triple. Um, we got him in. And, and, you know, we did that last night and then kind of stopped or obviously stopped because we only scored one. But it was nice to have some better at bats. There was a lot of guys. I know we didn't score a lot of runs, but we got to be encouraged, you know, with the way um, Mejia swung the bat. Yoshi hit some balls right on the screws. And then who you talked about, uh, Randy did his thing. But then um, Philly and, and Wendell, those were really big hits for us. Yeah, I was going to ask what you think of Brett Phillips' home run. I believe it was 417 feet. 
Yeah, uh, look, he's a guy that's got a lot of physical ability, a lot of tools. He's worked really hard with Chad and Ozzy um, just to, you know, find that rhythm at the plate. And, you know, he's had some sporadic playing time. It's not the easiest thing to do at times, but he came through in a big way for us today. We, we were needing a big hit there, uh, certainly after they, you know, they went up 2-1 to one, um, after the double by Olsen and then the sack fly. What do you think of what Michael Waffer was able to give you guys today? I thought he did a really, really good job. You know, they, they, there were some hard hit balls in there, but, you know, he, he's a pro. He's a competitor. He just keeps going after them and throwing strikes, trusting his stuff. Um, but he ultimately made a lot of big pitches when he needed to. Anytime you, you, go, you know, you go five with five innings, one run, uh, you're doing good in this league. Really good. Phillips just maybe have a knack for some big moments. I guess. I mean, it's this is. <laughs> what are we in game twenty-two? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it was a big moment. There's no denying that. Look, we needed so we needed something to spark us, and that certainly did. So, really appreciate that that the ball left the ballpark. I mean, we've seen the pop in in batting practice. That you know he's, he's got center field pop. He's got pull side pop. He's just worked really hard to get comfortable at the plate and trust what he's done uh, the last couple days with motor. So it, encouraging when you get kind of uh, immediate rewards. Thank you. Kevin, we, we've all seen Kiermaier cover a ton of ground. Uh, that play in the sixth where he kind of cut off Randy. Is, is that something that maybe he needs to address with Randy or what was your take on that? It, it happened fast. I, I need to go back and look at it. Um, look, I, I'm not going to second guess anything KK does out there. Um, we know how t special he is covering ground and the type of arm strength he has. You know, I, if anything, you know, Randy could have been shocked as anybody that, you know, KK is coming out of nowhere to catch the ball. So it, it, it was tough. I'm sure that we will discuss it moving forward. But, you know, pretty spectacular play to even get the throw off and then put it in the vicinity. Gotcha. And then also that inning, Mejia, was that one of the longest singles you've ever seen? Yes, uh, I, 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 he did the right thing, though. I think he, he missed first base. Um, so at that point, he, he just said, let me shut it down. Uh, but, yeah, that was a long one. Thank you. Taylor, when you said you wanted a, a spark in the leadoff spot out of Kiermaier's first pitch triple, pretty much what you had in mind? Or? Well, he could have hit a homer, but sure, yeah, we'll take a triple. Um, yeah, and look, I think that's going to be, you know, consistently changing depending on the matchup and stuff like that. But we know what KK is capable of, and he does spark us. We've got a lot of guys that can spark us. Uh, just unfortunately, it's been kind of quiet because uh, when you're not hitting, everything gets magnified a little bit. But to, to get out there uh, off a really good pitcher in Montes, who was very, very tough, he had the slider going to the righties, the split going to the lefties, uh, to get an early lead was nice. Just to go back to the locker for one second, getting out of that spot with bases loaded, nobody out with just one run. Is that just a little bit of momentum on his side there? Yeah, it should be. I mean, when it happened, you know, you, 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 you we're all sitting there. How are we going to get through this um, without them, you know, opening it up or putting a crooked number up? He did a tremendous job uh, of just making pitches and, and getting some soft contact uh, after they put, you know, they, 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 they hit their way on base. Pretty good work by the bullpen by the end of the night there. Yeah, outstanding. You know, um, Richards, probably not a role that he's pitched in that many times, but given the matchups and the, that we had, we liked him. Uh, after the four-pitch walk, he really came in, made some nice pitches. Uh, KK ran a ball down out and left, or Randy ran a ball down. And then Diego, you know, it's been some time since he's pitched. He gives up the homer but settles in. Uh, and made, you know, uh, got, got the ground balls, got the strikeout. Really encouraged with the way the guys have thrown. Look, our pitching has been outstanding. As beat up and nicked up as we are, they've really done a nice job of a lot of guys uh, stepping up.